Get ready to level up your steak game. Today, I'm diving into air fried ribeye perfection. It's tender, it's juicy, it's a game changer. It's all about convenience and flavor. That's enough about the theatrics. Let's cook this bad boy. Like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get notified every time I put out a new video. This is a four and a half pound rib roast or ribeye rib roast. I've already cleaned up most of the fat on it. I'm gonna leave a little bit of fat on there because that's gonna help to baste it and keep a little of the moisture into it when we cook it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut some little slits into this so we get some of the seasoning into it. The same as you would do for a ham. So I'm just gonna season this with softened butter. It's gonna get that and just kinda rub it all over the outsides. Now you don't have to worry too much where the fat is because that, that fat is gonna help uh, baste it too and season it. And of course, you know, you wanna make sure that this is dry before you start all this, get all the, uh, all the water and stuff that comes in the packaging off, clean it all out with a paper towel. So the only seasoning I'm gonna use here is uh, some salt. I'm using Himalayan salt. So, and you, and you wanna be pretty liberal with it because it is a big piece of meat. It's, uh, it's about four and a half pounds. And I've got some, some black pepper. Gonna get that on there. And again, I'm being pretty liberal with it. And I'm just gonna rub it in and get it all into the little crevices and little openings here. Get the edges, just gonna get that all in like that. The edges like that. So now I'm gonna get this into the refrigerator for about one to two hours, just enough to dry it out a little bit. I don't wanna over dry it. When it comes out, we're gonna season it again and get it into the air fryer. The ingredients for the garlic herb butter. Gonna need a couple tablespoons of softened butter, one tablespoon of chopped parsley, two tablespoons of minced garlic, a tablespoon of onion powder, about a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon of black pepper, about two tablespoons of rosemary, and a couple of squares of Worcestershire sauce. Now that this ribeye roast came out of the fridge, I let it sit for about a half hour, a little over a half hour, just to come to room temperature. In the meantime, I got my air fryer preheated at about 425 for about 10, 15 minutes just to get it nice and hot in there. We're gonna turn the temperature down for cooking this. Now we're ready to add the rub, but I just wanna show you what I did in the meantime too, is I also cut the rib part out so I can open this up and get some of the seasoning inside here. I'm just gonna use my hands here. We're gonna get some of this inside the rib. Okay, and this is just the butter and seasoning that, that rub we made earlier. It's gonna melt and spread anyway. I'm not worried about seasoning underneath the bones on the, on the back side of the bone. I wanna get more over the top and the sides. And this stuff smells great. That Worcestershire sauce and the seasoning phew, makes it smell awesome. I'm gonna tie this up a little bit. And this is basically to keep it from splitting and falling, just to kind of keep the shape on here. And you don't have to tie it super tight. Again, just, just to be able to hold it in place so it doesn't fall. Take this and put that in here. Like that. So now I'm gonna use this, this probe. I was sent this, uh, this Bluetooth probe uh, to test out and to try. And I'm gonna try it on this rib roast. I'm also gonna put the internal Drio uh, probe in there just to verify the temperature and the way this works you turn it on this is your repeater and I'll leave all the specs and uh, and all the other stuff in the uh, in the description too this is the Bluetooth meat thermometer by a company called LHL the probe made out of stainless steel has dual sensors measures internal and ambient temperatures its wireless Bluetooth technology uses type C USB for charging you have to keep a case which is also the repeater and it needs to be at five feet maximum distance. The accuracy of the temperature is plus or minus one degree Celsius, which is 1.8 degrees Fahrenheit. The max ambient temperature is 527 degrees Fahrenheit or 275 degrees Celsius. And the max internal temperature is 212 degrees Fahrenheit or 100 degrees Celsius. It does hold a waterproof rating of IP67. Inside the box, you have a manual, comes with a cord and the base which also serves as a repeater capable of about 500 feet maximum distance. The side of the case has the USB type C charger, also has a power and reset and the connection power to the base. You see the green light and the blue light also tells you that the base has got power and it's got a connection to the probe. 
You can download their app from either the Apple Store or Google Play Store. The app will work on iOS 12 or above and Android 6 and above. The app doesn't have a cloud server and states that it doesn't collect personal information. You can monitor your cooking using the smartphone when you're away from the kitchen or the outdoors up to 500 feet away using that repeater. I'll leave some other specs here at the bottom you can read for the charging times. After installing the app, turn on the base and make sure your Bluetooth is turned on. Click to start. At the add device, the MAC address of the unit will show up on the top of the list. Select it and now you can see the temperature that the probe is reading. At the top, you can change the language. At the bottom of the screen, you see the temperature unit setting for Celsius and Fahrenheit, disconnection alarms, info, which is extra information, which is FAQs, and to contact us. Select your target temperature to set the food you're cooking. I selected beef. Then I set the target cooking temperature for medium rare, which is around 136 degrees Fahrenheit. Under that is the furnace or oven temperature. You can set the high and low temperature here. You can also turn on and off the alarms Selecting the reminder one shows you how to place the probe. Also reminder two will indicate uh, how far the distance of the case can be. To delete a program, select the trash at the top right. Then you select the checkbox and the trash button again. So I'm gonna put this in, in here. You wanna kind of get it in into the center. So, and again, you don't wanna to go too deep with it, but deep enough so uh, you're in the center of the meat. I think that's good enough there. And this is the, the Drio probe, which is part of this air fryer. Again, you can see the Drio review on, on how this works. It just slides in here. And I'm gonna stick this into the opposite side, basically going in the same direction. So that's what it looks like all set up. I'm gonna get this into the air fryer from Drio. I want the target temperature to be 130. That's going to be a medium rare. Hit enter. We're going to use 375 and we're going to go. The current temperature is 32 degrees, 37 at 375. And uh, we're going to periodically check it. and I'll show you on the screen what the other probe is reading on the app. All right, so I took it out. The temperature is about 127, 128. It's going to sit until it cools probably for another 30 minutes. Take this out, take the probe out, take that out, and I'll let that sit. And I'm going to make a tent and just keep that covered for about 15 minutes. So while I'm waiting for the ribeye roast to kind of cool down and rest, put it aside and rest, let's, I'm going to make the side. I'm going to make these broccolini. Now broccolini is kind of the broccoli's, you know, sweeter, little cousin. It's a longer stem. The florets a little bit uh, smaller, but they're a lot sweeter. They're definitely a lot uh, more tender and, and sweeter. The way I prepare them is basically just take these stems. You're going to cl clean off the back end, maybe about an inch or so like that. If they're small like this, I just leave them as is. If they're larger, like this one here, a larger stem, uh, I'll split it in half. So you can split it right down the middle like this, or you can go twice if it's, it's really thick. Just put, put slits into it, just so it'll cook evenly. All right, like that. You don't want to trim off just the, the florets because that these are real, real tender, real small, so they'll fall apart. So I'm going to finish doing these. Say so now that they're done, and it takes some aluminum foil. Get these on the aluminum foil. I'm gonna add a nice little pat of butter to the top. A little bit of salt. Crushed black pepper. Fresh chopped garlic and you don't have to chop it too thin. Now you can add other seasoning. You can even add a little bit of olive oil, which will, again, will bring a little bit of flavor to it, a little extra flavor. And then I'm gonna close up the pouch. I wanna make it nice and tight, like this. Close that up, fold it down, close up the ends. Then just roll them up and press them down, so keep, keep the moisture in there. These are going to be steamed in the air fryer. Okay, close that, close that. You have this pouch and we're going to get this in the air fryer. 
I'm gonna put it into the air fryer. We're gonna steam it for about five minutes just to soften it up with the butter and, uh, and the oil that's in there. Okay, so now it's been sitting for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna cut into it. You can see some of the juices. I took the drippings out there. We might need it for a little bit of basting later or a little, little sauce for it, a little au jus. So let's cut into this, this, this ribeye here and see, see how it looks like. I go right down the center between the ribs here. off the remainder of the ribs here. Okay, we can take a look. It's a medium. You know, I cooked a little, little longer, but the center is nice, nice and medium rare. Take a look at that. We got the ribs here. We'll take care of that later. All right. So I'm going to take a piece here. Just I'm going to get this plated up with the broccolini. All right, so I'm just going to get the remainder of this goodness here on my plate. Get some of that juice on there. Throw some of this cooked garlic on top. I'm going to grab that, that first one here. That looks like it's the nicest cut here. So let me take that. Beautiful. This looks great. So I'm going to grab my fork. So let's just take a look at that. And that looked great. I'm first I'm gonna give it a little taste of these broccolini. They were just slightly steamed. So just gonna take some of this broccolini. Mm. Buttery, garlicky, a little salt. Mm. Just the perfect crunch to it. So I'm going to get some of this au jus that I, that I strained out of the out of the base of the air fryer. I'm going to get that on the top here. Hey, this is all butter and olive oil, it's garlic, I mean, it's everything. Let's just share some of that. So I'm going to go in for a piece here. Take this piece right there. Okay, look at that. Oh. Soak up some of those spices. It had a nice crust on it too. I mean, beautiful. Looks looks great. Smells wonderful. So this is Ribeye Perfection. Thanks for watching. <laughs>